This is the all-new Generation 7 Mustang 2024. Sexy, edgy and disruptive as Ford describes it. Electronic drift brakes, quite start, fighter jet cockpit, remote reverend, twin screen instrument cluster, all new black horse with more than 500 horsepower as the first ever on its series with first time ever forward facing horse logo, six new up will be available as a coupe and convertible with either the EcoBoost or GT trim levels. In addition to these four you got the all new dark horse. So Ford is planning to produce five Mustang models as the Ford 7th generation. GT Coupe, GT Convertible, EcoBoost Coupe, EcoBoost Convertible and Dark Horse. The GT Coupe and Convertible comes with a 5-liter Coyote V8 engine. And the EcoBoost Coupe and Convertible comes with a 2.3-liter EcoBoost turbocharged 4-cylinder engine. The Dark Horse is an entirely new breed of Mustang. It does not share any bloodlines or history with existing models. Just like the GT model, it only comes with a 5-liter Coyote V8 engine with numerous standard performance features and exclusive track-focused options. The Dark Horse is the most track-capable Mustang. Not only is this the latest generation of the engine with dual throttle bodies fed by dual air intakes, but the version in the Dark Horse is enhanced even further. It produces a projected 500 horsepower, and Ford says the Dark Horse engine is the most powerful naturally aspirated 5.0-liter V8 it has ever built. It pairs with a standard Tremec 6-speed manual and the shifter has a special 3D-printed titanium knob. Ford's 10-speed automatic is the other option, and both transmissions power the rear wheels through a Torsen Limited slip differential. It also inherits parts from the Shelby GT350 and GT500, lightweight carbon fiber wheels. In addition to these five, Ford has six dedicated track variants planned. Dark Horse S, Dark Horse R, Mustang GT3, Mustang GT4, NHRA Factory X and NASCAR Cup Car. The Ford Mustang Dark Horse S is essentially a stripped-down version of the Dark Horse and it's for weekend track day enthusiasts. To get rid of unnecessary weight, it has got rid of all the non-essential parts, and added race seats and steering wheel, along with safety nets and a fire suppression system. The 2024 Mustang in Dark Horse S is further modified by featuring a central panel incorporating the knobs and switches for the headlights, wipers, turn signals, rain light, and mirror adjustment. Ford also throws in a pit speed limiter and an optional front passenger seat. A data and acquisition display system is also part of the package while the exterior gains hood pins, adjustable rear wing, front and rear tow hooks, and an upgraded exhaust. Mustang Dark Horse R, which has all the goodies of the S but comes with Ford Performance Parts wheels, a fuel cell for better range, and bespoke seam welding. In addition, the R has special serialization tailored to race cars as it's intended for actual racing whereas the S is more along the lines of a weekend track toy. Mustang GT3 is an IMSA spec model geared toward racing programs that compete on the global stage. Ford says the first cars will be available to customer teams in time for the 2024 running of the 24 Hours of Daytona. It will be powered by a 5.4-liter version of the Coyote V8. The Mustang GT4 series is meant to appeal to privateer groups that lack the funding for a GT3 campaign. They utilize the same basic architecture, but offer less power and downforce due to series limitations, making them less costly to run over the course of a season. NHRA Factory X is short for Factory Exhibition, Factory X slots between Factory Stock Showdown and Pro Stock. It's a brand new addition to the NHRA series that makes room for stripped-down factory drag racers. Cars are allowed to be significantly lighter than those featured in factory stock showdown, but must be equipped with manual transmissions. 2022 North American International Auto Show started on Wednesday, September 14. On the 15th all-new Ford Mustang Global Debut event took place in the Motor City. Detroit is known as the Motor City. It got its name because it was the historic heart of the American automotive industry that provided the model for mass production that other industries later adopted. Ford had the event, Stampede, in conjunction with the 2022 North American International Auto Show. Do you know what the word, Stampede, stands for? This channel is not just another automobile review channel. I try to give you much more than that. So let me fill you in with some knowledge. 
Meanwhile, hit the subscribe button to see more valuable videos like this. This Ford Mustang event is called the Stampede. First, let's check out the meaning of the word stampede. According to Wikipedia, a stampede is a situation in which a group of large animals suddenly start running in the same direction, especially because they are excited or frightened. Now that's out of the way, let's see how that word connects with the Ford Mustang Stampede. The event, Stampede, by Ford Mustang, is an owner inclusive event that invites Ford Mustang enthusiasts on a cross country parade for the debut of the new car at Detroit Auto Show. The animal Mustang is a free roaming horse of the western United States, descended from horses brought to the Americas by the Spanish. Mustang can be categorized as pony. The logo of the Mustang is technically a running pony. Ponies are smaller in size than a typical horse but they're also a bit more wily and actually a bit stronger than horses. This may be why the pony was chosen since the original Mustang was a small muscle car. Back to the stampede. Therefore in that context, it is a large group of horses or ponies whatever you like to call them, running towards the same direction of excitement. So this event is more like elder brothers going to see their newborn brother. This stampede has two parts, the cross-country rally and the event that debuts the upcoming Ford Mustang model. The stampede begins with an owner parade that joins the annual, the drive home trip, starting at America's Car Museum in Tacoma, Washington. Previous generations of Mustang will set out on a cross-country journey spread across nine states, finishing on at Ford World Headquarters in Michigan. Length. 189.4 inches. Width. 81.9 inches. Height. 55 inches. Curb weight. 1,784 kilograms or 3,932 pounds. Wheelbase. 107 inches. Front track width, 62 inches. Rear track width, 64.7 inches. Ground clearance, 5.4 inches or 13.7 centimeters. Fuel tank capacity, 60.9 liters or 16 gallons. Front legroom, 44.5 inches. Front headroom, 37.6 inches. Rear legroom, 29 inches. Rear headroom, 34.8 inches. Overall shape looks similar to the outgoing models. This is not a complete redesign but fine tuning of the iconic Ford Mustang shape. Sharper edges increases with a chiseled look. They made the new model out of the previous model by changing bits here and there to make it a little bit more modern and a little bit more attractive. It's a new look but not totally new. This is the case with Chevrolet Camaro and Dodge Challenger. We can assume when you have iconic cars like these and when you upgrade for a new generation they tend not to deviate much from the original look. As Ford says, the 7th Gen Mustang is a modern interpretation of Mustang's iconic design heritage. Seems like that's the way forward. What do you think about that? Let me know down below in the comments section. Let's start from the rear. Rear is bent inward. Also the famous three vertical tail lights are bent inward. These rear turn lights blinks in sequence as well as the front turn lights. This car has a long extended rear deck with sharp angles and crisp tail lamps. Then you have the spoiler as part of the performance package. This has got four exhaust tips. It only comes with the V8 engine. Then the diffuser at the bottom. Easter egg on the base of the rear window you can see small seven cars printed to symbolize the seven generations of the Ford Mustang. You can see a big crease on the rear wings. Rear haunches or the rear fenders have been widened to give a much wider look. One important thing about the roof. Engineers made the roofline so that racers don't have to take their helmet off to get in and out. That makes racers life easier with the helmet. Then you have the Brembo brakes. Speed kills and brakes save lives. In the front there are tri-bar headlights and you have three horizontal stripes as turn lights which are also the daytime running lights. This adds to that long horizontal brow to add a much meaner look. As their chief engineer says, 
7th gen they wanted to give it an aggressive look. What do you think? Have they succeeded or not? Let me know in the comments section. The 7th gen Ford Mustang got a U-shaped grille. If you get the GT you will have vertical bars on the front grille. That can be used to identify GT models from EcoBoost models. GT and Dark Horse models have those two vertical bars on the grille and EcoBoost models don't. And the lower grille is a bit wider. If you get GT models you get the hood vent. Four-cylinder EcoBoost Mustangs don't have that feature either. Mustang takes the two vents on the side and combines it into this hood vent. Hood vent is also only available in GT models and Black Horse models. You can customize the exterior with new colors, exterior stripes, wheel types and as Ford says you can customize from wheels to seat belts. Also Mustang comes with bronze design package which includes bronze accents like bronze wheels and badges. Current outgoing models offer two types of powertrains. A 2.3-liter EcoBoost turbocharged four-cylinder and a 5-liter Coyote V8. Ford Mustang 2024 also offers two engine types. 2.3-liter EcoBoost turbocharged four-cylinder and V8 5-liter Gen 4 at 480 plus horsepower. Latter is the most powerful Mustang GT ever. 2.3-liter EcoBoost delivers the performance and efficiency while 5-liter V8 delivers the raw power. The base engine is still a 2.3-liter EcoBoost, though Ford says this version is all new. The upgrade for the GT is an advanced 5.0-liter Coyote V8 with a new dual-air intake box and dual-throttle body design. Ford says the new GT will have its most horsepower from a naturally aspirated engine ever. We don't have the numbers to confirm that claim yet. Ford has decided to keep the 8-speed manual transmission with the GT models. However you will only have 10-speed automatic transmission on EcoBoost models. All models are front engine, rear wheel drive with limited slip differential. What you are about to hear is the all-new 2024 Mustang GT exhaust note. Listen to this. I don't know whether this is good news or bad news. There are no electric or hybrid models for Mustang. Ford has decided to go with traditional internal combustion engines. There is a new cool feature. Ford Mustang 2024 comes with electronic drift brakes. This helps you drift with ease. We saw a similar feature to this on Audi RS3. You can check out that video on our channel. Interior is built with good quality materials with nice stitching. And the seats are comfy and wrap around you tightly to hold you when you take sharp corners. You cannot see many buttons or knobs inside. You have a 12-speaker sound system here. What you notice first here is the screen. It is a two-part display with 12.4-inch gauge cluster display with 13.2 inches multimedia display. This is a single piece of glass that houses two large displays. On the previous model you had a gauge cluster in the driver side and the infotainment system in the middle. In the 2024 models both screens are angled towards the driver. Ford says they have designed the new cockpit so it looks like a jet fighter. That was the inspiration behind. They have added a lot of digital tech into this new cockpit. The displays look high quality and highly configurable. You can select colors. You have six gauge cluster themes first one is called match drive mode depending on the driving mode the gauge cluster changes then you have the normal next you have the sport in sport mode the gauge cluster screen gets more aggressive next the track mode when you go to the track mode you have a horizontal tachometer 
Next you have the com theme. It is a minimalist gauge cluster theme that shows only the important stuff without the noise. Finally, Fox Body theme does a good job replicating the old Fox Body Mustang gauge cluster that was there in the early 90s. It glows green at night just like old Ford models did. Next screen is the center screen. It is angled towards the driver. This is the latest Sync infotainment system. Sync 4 to be exact and it's compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's responsive, very easy and simple to use. You can use the gauge cluster display to change between the drive modes. Normal, Sport, Track and Drag Strip. There are a few buttons in here including the volume knob and traction control off. Climate controls are integrated into the infotainment system which can be less user friendly. When you are in the driving seat to use the center control display you have to lean forward a bit and that will be a pain in the long run. If we had physical knobs and buttons we can actually touch, that would be awesome. Anyhow, climate controls are pinned at the bottom bar on the screen which makes it easier to operate. Apart from that, we have the auxiliary gauges. Those display different things about the vehicle. There is this fantastic feature that allows you to change the exhaust note. You can pick from quiet, normal, sport and performance. Ford also gives us something called quiet start mode. That's pretty handy if you need to start your Ford Mustang without disturbing the surroundings. Next up you have the electronic drift brakes. It's a drifting specific brake that will enhance your drifting. Just like we had on the Audi RS3, this mode is for track use only. Turning drift brakes on, changes the driving mode to track. This locks the rear wheels when you pull the parking brakes handle. You can drift by pulling the parking brake handle and turning the steering wheels at the same time. Next cool feature is the remote reverend. With that you can rev the engine from the key fob remotely. How cool is that? Next up you have the new sporty flat bottom steering wheel. New Mustang will come with overhead USB ports to plug something like a dash cam. If you get the manual transmission you get the gear knob. It's 6 speed. Next we have the parking brake. There is no electronic parking brake. We have this handle that you can lift up for drifting or sliding the car around as well. This is a second row but there isn't an inch of legroom, I can tell you that. The second row is there for a small child or cargo. You get the high-quality Recaro track focused seats with the performance package. Both the four-cylinder and the V8 offer the performance package and it comes with quite a few upgrades like wider rear wheels and tires. The performance package rear wheels and tires also come with a limited slip differential, a front tower brace and Brembo brakes. V8-powered GT models get something extra than what you'd get in the four-cylinder. With the performance package, GT also gets brake ducts for additional brake cooling and an extra engine oil cooler for additional engine cooling. Then you get the Magneride suspension and performance exhaust which once again is not standard with the performance package but only available if you choose to get it on Mustang V8 models equipped with the performance package. You also get the word, performance, printed very small on the GT badge at the back.
that's a wrap, so what do you think about the 7th generation Mustang lineup? Let me know down in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe it will help me to grow this channel. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.